She does not have to tell you she is the queen. Jesus did not have to tell you every time he did something, he was God. And when he answered Philip, he said, you say, show us the Father and it's sufficient. I have been with you so long and you don't know? He who has seen me has seen the Father. Our brother quoted another verse which has the same idea. As to our brother's remarks about the book of Revelation, did not the prophet and the prophets have also dreams? Did not God reveal himself to them in dreams and visions? He speaks through visions and dreams. And it does not come because your stomach is full or empty. But God chooses to do so. And if he chooses to do so, it is so. I also like to remind you of something else. As far as the Trinity is concerned, I think the problem with our Muslim friends is that they don't realize we are just as much against the Trinity of the days of the Arab worlds coming into historical position as they are. You see, there was a group of heretics who from paganism came to Christianity and they thought of Mary as the queen of heaven. God married her and Jesus was born. For God's sake, get this through your mind. Jesus was not the son of God as a man who was born through a sexual experience. It is a spiritual title. He came because he loves you. Stop them, Stop them. Be patient to the end, please. The Merriamas, therefore, are just as wrong as others are wrong. Our faith in the Trinity is in God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Doesn't it amaze you that in the 99 excellent names of God in the Quran, not one is love, not one is father, and we are not given the idea that God is a dictator and we are to be his slaves, but God is a father who wants you and me and the whole world to be his sons. Please, please. Please, would you hold on to clapping? Don't clap, please. Don't disturb us. How did Miriam conceive of the Holy Spirit? Who is the Holy Spirit? An angel called Gabriel? Let me challenge you. 75% of the wonderful Quran in my wonderful language of Arabic is from the Bible. And I would urge you to look into the Bible and find out where these sources are and the blessing of knowing this God who loves you and me and much like ants trying to go from this point to the other and cannot, you come by and you say, wait a minute, let me show them the right way. For there is a way that seems right unto man, but the way ends in destruction. So you say, I will help them. You try to show them the way, you push the nose of this one and the tail of the other, but they keep going back to their old way. So you say, I think the only way is either I become an ant or they become human. Now bear in mind that they cannot become human because they don't have the power. And suppose you have the power to become an ant. Now tell me, when you become an ant, can you show them the better way? Can you show them a sirat al mustaqim the right way? And I answer you by saying, not on your life. Because once you become a man, as a man you become an ant, and once you become an ant, you end up being just like the ants. Therefore, Jesus, God in human flesh, came and he kept the man. He is man, he ate as a man, he slept as a man, he was tired as a man, but he also used the title, the son of man, to identify himself with you and me, for you answer this question for me. How in the world are you going to pay for your sins? How in the world are you going to be justified? Our brother quoted Job, and he misquoted the word. The word says, very clearly, 
How can a man be justified that means made right in the sight of God and nobody can become right in the sight of God without redemption through the blood of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, who said, I have come that you may have life. The blood of Jesus Christ cleanses you from every sin. Please remember that when the angel announced the Holy One to Mary, that will be born of you, will be called the Son, listen, of the Most High God. Are you telling me the angel was lying? The Lord was making a mistake? He loves Mr. Dad. He loves you. And he pleads with you tonight and says, Come unto me, and I will give you rest. Come unto me, all the ends of the earth, and be saved. Because salvation is not for the Muslims or the Jews or the others. It's for all of us. God loves us. He became a son and